of Ravenna in Italy. The early church venerated him as a martyr. However, there is no reliable details about his life or how he died. We'll call him a martyr anyway. His tomb is found in San Polinare in Classe, which was dedicated in 549. His relics were transferred to San Polinare Nuovo. Now, the whole question of healing prayer, healing prayer. You know, there's a, a name you might look up at some point if you're interested, look it up online. And uh, the name of the name Lynn, L-I-N-N. -N. The Lynn Brothers, uh, Matthew Lynn, especially Father Matthew Lynn, S.J., a Jesuit priest. He was, uh, he is, uh, known for healing ministry, doing healing ministry with his brother Dennis. Dennis was also a Jesuit priest who left and got married to Sheila Fabricant. Sheila Fabricant is a Jewish lady who and all three of them have gifts of healing prayer. So they work together at this point, and they, they go on lectures, they give retreats, they write books. But you can look up some of their books, and or just look up who they are. And uh, Matthew has some great ideas about healing, in which he incorporates the, uh, the Blessed Sacrament and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament uh, in exposition such as we have here. We're, we're very uh, happy to have here in our chapel every day. Sitting before the Blessed Sacrament, the Lynn Brothers with Sheila would uh, receive all kinds of requests from people, written requests from people for prayer, for healing. And they would say, now, we can't get to you right now. There's so many requests. But do the following. Go to church where the Blessed Sacrament is and just sit there for a little bit of time for X number of days. Just be there, whether you pray or not, just be there in front of the Blessed Sacrament and let Jesus love you. Just let Jesus love you. We're so afraid sometimes to love ourselves, and some people don't love themselves, but exercising ourselves and letting Jesus love us. People would report back to them that they no longer felt a need for that prayer from the brothers and from Sheila, because Christ himself from the Eucharist had healed them, had made it possible for them to see the light at the end of the tunnel, as it were, made it possible for them to carry their burdens, whatever they were. Their problems were still there, but they no longer felt so defeated. They no longer felt so without recourse, without, without possibilities. They could cope. So we give thanks for the great power of the Eucharist, the most holy Eucharist, as we ask God each day to make us more whole. Let's bring our 